All right, welcome back to Daily Math Concepts. Uh, what we're looking at today is a table, one in which we want to learn how to interpret um, information in a table um, in making right decisions. So stay tuned. I will be right back after this. All right, let's go. So here it is, we're looking at um, a question. Um, this question comes in the 2021 or 2020 PEP um, exam, it's a mental ability exam. And it reads, the students were asked to select one fruit for breakfast. So we're, we're marking this and one fruit for lunch. So each student was actually asked to select a fruit for breakfast and a fruit for lunch. The table below shows the number of students who selected each fruit. Use this information to answer questions 34 to 37. So let's get out the questions, okay? So here it is. All right, so we are observing the table. Um, so over here, as you could see, fruit selected for breakfast and then we're seeing here fruit selected for lunch. So in terms of looking at things for lunch, you, you have to observe the table like this going down. And in terms of um, looking at things for, break, for breakfast, you have to observe these fruits going in that direction, all right? So interpretation of, of the table is very important as you go forward. Let's see what the first question really asks. So the first question says, all right, it says, which fruit was selected by most students for lunch? So we want to look at the idea that we're looking at the, 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 the fruits, the fruit that was mainly selected for lunch. So we'd actually go in this lunch line. So we're looking at the lunch column and you want to see these are the totals for the lunch. So you're seeing where this here, this 200 here, is representing banana. So banana was um, the fruit that was selected the most for lunch. So here is the answer, banana. And we had a 200 students actually selected a banana. Question 35 says, how many students were in the survey? A very important question. If we wanna look at how many students were in the survey, we have two ways of getting that. We could total, um, we could total the things for lunch, for example, talking about 150 plus 200 plus 60 plus 90. And if we add all of this up, we're getting 500. If you'd never wanted to do that, you could have added um, from this column, um, the 80 plus the 125 plus the 135 plus 6 plus the 160, and then you'll still get 500 because it was the same 500 students for lunch, the same 500 students for breakfast, right? So we're looking at a total of 500 students that were in the survey here, and the answer is C. All right, let's go to question 36. How many students selected banana for both breakfast and lunch? So we're looking for students who selected banana for both breakfast and lunch. All right, so we're looking for an intersection of breakfast um, and lunch. Intersection for breakfast and lunch, let's go for that. So, so we're talking about banana, banana intersection for breakfast and lunch. So you're seeing that this is the banana column. This is the banana row, and this is the banana column, all right? going down. So 60 would have been, uh, so we're talking about 60 for banana for breakfast, as well as 60 for banana for lunch. So 60 would have been that number. So, so how you, you look at a problem like this, you, you look at the row for banana and the column for banana and where they intersect, then that would be the answer. And they intersected at 60. So 60 students had banana for lunch and banana for breakfast. There you go. All right, 37. How many students, how many students who selected plum for breakfast also selected a mango? All right, how many students selected plum also selected a mango for lunch? So we're looking for, for, 
for um, plum for breakfast and mango for lunch. Let's go to the table. Plum, plum for breakfast. So we're following that plum, plum row. So we're going across the plum row until it reaches the mango column right here. So we're talking about plum and mango intersecting. You could see that following the plum row and where the mango came down is 10 right there. So we had 10 students who actually selected plum also selected mango, 10 students, as you can see there. This is the answer for that one there. And there it is, um, some nice question um, in terms of understanding table. I trust that you would have um, learned something there. Thank you for watching Delimas Concepts. See you next time. Bye-bye.